What's up guys and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, I am Shelly and if you've already been here as always, thank you so much for supporting my channel and welcome back. Let me turn this TV off. Or it needs to mute it. Okay. I was watching Wands Brothers. So I'm about to edit this video that I really, really, really need to have edited and uploaded by tomorrow. It's a New Year's Eve makeup inspired look. Y'all, the look turned out fire. I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, by the time you see this vlog, that video will be live. So as you know, go ahead, I'll link it. Go ahead and watch it. So as I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. But first I need to make coffee. I need my coffee because I have not had coffee all morning. I'm hoping that I can drop, fingers crossed, I can drop these LBs before my birthday, or at least, you know, get rid of some body fat. Um, so yes, I have been drinking coffee to kind of help suppress my hunger urge. <laughs> I am also thinking that I'm going to vlog for my birthday. I feel like I just want to keep the memories. So that's the reason why I enjoy vlogging so much. Um, speaking of vlogging, thank you guys so much for the support on my most recent vlog. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and make this coffee real quick. And we're back in the back in the infamous kitchen. I've been like watching everyone's channels who do keto just to get like keto drink ideas and keto food ideas so i was watching um her channel this one girl's channel and she said that she's been like frothing her coffee and she enjoys it more so i bought a frother <laughs> i feel like it'll help to spice up my coffee game a little bit maybe not but whatever so you guys know that i buy my starbucks coffee Y'all pretty much know how I make my coffee. I just use the Starbucks coffee. I use the medium roast unsweetened. Hold on. So I use about 12 ounces of the coffee. And then I use, I use oat milk. So I just use about a cup of that. Probably a little bit more. So I got my frother from Amazon. I just pour the creamer in the cup but I'm not gonna hold y'all I use a lot of creamer in my coffee so but it's fine like the carbs super low you can use creamer on keto so I'm just gonna froth it it just makes the cream much thicker and I'll show you guys before I pour it in so you can see what I mean you want to froth it for like 20 seconds they say 20 seconds I do it for like 30 okay so that should be good enough all right let me show you guys Here's what I do. I just take and pour it in. Let me just take the let me take the top off. So y'all can get the full effect. So I just and voila. So my camera died, but so my camera died, but I'm actually about to take Milo for his walk. It's supposed to be a snowstorm today. So before it starts snowing, I'm about to take Milo out. Um, and then I'm going to edit. So yeah, I'm probably going to have like a glass of wine and light up the hookah in a little bit. I just finished up a little bit of stuff for work for like my actual job. So yeah, I'm just gonna hang out at home today. I don't have anything, I don't have anything planned. My hair looks a mess. I was thinking about doing like the braided ponytail, but I really, I'm not going anywhere. Like I don't really feel like doing my hair. So. All right y'all, so I'm back inside. Both of my batteries died on my camera. Tragic. But I am about to edit the video that I filmed yesterday. It's crazy the amount of work that goes into filming and editing videos. I literally was filming for like four hours. It took me like two hours to do the filming and it's just the setup. So for me, it's like I have to, cause I don't have a filming room. So I have to do the whole setup and then 
film the video like with the lights and everything I have to make sure that everything is perfect as far as like the lighting and everything um, once I do that then I have to film the video like get the once the setup is done once the setup is done then I have to film the video once I'm done filming then I have to put everything away again and then take some thumbnail pics and then edit the video so it's a lot that goes into it but I love it so it doesn't matter and to me I actually really really enjoy filming <laughs> so yeah so I'm going to turn on my iPad so I can watch some YouTube videos while I'm editing my phone died yeah so as i was saying there's a lot that goes into editing these videos i have a lot of respect for youtubers that put out content like every day or like three four times a week because it is definitely a lot and you know what too it's a lot because i do work a regular job and i'm a mom so i'm a mom mom and i'm a dog mom so your girl got uh, responsibilities. I'm gonna get some work done now. So bye guys. Hey y'all, welcome to another day in the vlog. Uh -oh, hold up. So I'm sitting here with Muff and Zamanique. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Just talking about what we are looking forward to in 2021. Um, we were supposed to do vision boards, but Girl. Somebody. Who? I ain't gonna say who. Oh, I'm gonna tell her. Okay. I'm gonna stuff ready. I'm gonna um, get on this. No, but we're supposed to do vision boards, so maybe we'll do them tomorrow. If we do, I'll bring you guys along. Um, I'll bring you guys along for that, but we're just basically discussing what we look forward to in 2021. Um, as you all know, 2020 has been very interesting. To say the least. That's what we're doing for the night. Ooh. Cover up. You real pussy. I'm a Christian. Girl, bye. Hey, pot. Three. Pot. <laughs> pot. Blink. Blink twice for the vlog if you hate it there. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep? Mm-hmm. Muff. What? Is this what hookah does to you? Oh, yes. Damn hookah. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another day in the vlog. I know you guys just saw me getting ready for the day. I'm actually about to run to Sephora. I have some gift cards that I can use, so I'm about to put them to use. I'm going to um, Sephora to go pick up the new Fenty Beauty products that launched. I know she has the foundation powder and then or the powder foundation and then she also has like some new lip glosses that i wanted to try so i'm gonna go step over there and get it it's not necessarily that i need it but i'm sort of tired of the makeup that i already have makeup gurus y'all know what i'm talking about i feel like i just wear the same foundation same concealer do the same routine so i just i just want something different you know switch it up a little bit so i'm actually about to get ready and get out of here um I need a lint brush. My jacket has so much lint and weave all over it. So hold up. Y'all saw I just had the hat on. I, I just had to change that because I just laid this frontal, even though it is laid kind of like sloppy and I haven't styled it or anything yet. That's why I was going to put the hat on. But I don't want it, you know, slipping because I only use got to be glue and uh, yeah, no. 
so I could just put these sunglasses on. You feel me? And I need to bring a lint brush to my coat because it's it's giving dusty, dusty vibes. Okay, hold on, let me take these off. Let me see what I'm doing. Because low key, I need to put this coat in the cleaners and let them like really clean it for me. Yeah, this looks like, it looks like little pubes. Oh, now just look at this. Look at this ice. Look at this ice on my car. Like, if anyone was ever wondering why I wanted to move, yo, this is why. Because my car is literally covered in ice. Y'all, my neighbor is literally over there beating ice off of his car. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All right, so let's go. We're gonna slip and slide our asses to Sephora. Can y'all believe today is New Year's Eve and my battery is about to die? All right. I'm gonna talk until it dies, but can y'all believe today is New Year's Eve. If you made it to the end of 2020, you ought to be thanking God right now. It's definitely, this has been a very trying year, but it also has been a good year. For me, I feel like this has been a year of revelation. So much has happened for me in this year. So much has changed for me. I've lost a lot during this year but I've also gained a lot. So I just feel like it's it's definitely been bittersweet, but I know that everything happens for a reason. I know that God allows everything to happen for a reason. So I just feel like I can't even be mad or upset about anything that has transpired within this year. My bad y'all, my battery died. But um, as I was saying, I just feel like there have been so many things that have happened to me this year that should have broken me like seriously but god <laughs> that's all i can say but god but anyway y'all we made it if you're watching this you should be thanking god right now just give him all the glory and the praise because he pulled us through another year a very trying year and one of the things that i'm most proud of this year with all that has been going on black people Black people have been winning this year. <laughs> like, I'm just so excited for black people seeing so many black businesses thrive and we just like taking off. I'm so here for it. Seeing so many black content creators. Like, even just seeing the black doctors, lawyers, y'all, like, what's good? I don't know. I get excited when I think about my people winning. But yeah, so I'll see y'all later on this evening once I decide what I'm doing. I don't even have any New Year's Eve plans. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if y'all, well, y'all don't know this about me, but for New Year's Eve, I do like to spend New Year's Eve, like going into the new year. I like to spend it alone or with my daughter. I'm just one of those people. I feel like I would much rather, what is this on me? Oh, I would much rather spend New Year's Eve alone or just with my daughter going into the new year because I believe that what you're doing going into the new year pretty much sets the tone for how your year will be. So I don't really like to spend my time with anyone that and not it's not even to say that I don't want these people in my life or I don't want the people that are in my life to continue to be in my life because y'all know how I feel about that. I don't want anyone's energy to have an effect on me if it's like sometimes people just aren't in the best of moods and i just feel like that can rub off on you so i would much rather just not spend my time with anyone else going into the new year just spend it with my myself and my daughter and then you know just like full of love and positive vibes and vibes and good energy and then if we want to be around someone after the fact then that's fine but i just don't like to enter into a new season with anyone else's energy being projected 
or maybe I'll go to my friend's house my friend didn't want to do something they wanted to do like vision boards and stuff so maybe I'll do that I don't really know my daughter is with her dad today so I will not be seeing her until tomorrow but anyway like I said I don't want to talk your ears off so I am going to see you guys when I get to Sephora so they close at four o'clock and it's 3 45 good timing Michelle good timing I got my products I got some really nice stuff I got some Fenty stuff but you know what okay so I had two gift cards for Sephora so I went ahead and used them on this stuff because I'm so frantic I can't ever wait I never hold off ever like I don't ever rack up gift cards like no let me splurge my total came out to be $126.72 they did have a lot of stuff like I said, my total was only $126 and um, I wanted to buy a birthday gift for myself. So I figured why not go and get the makeup that I wanted. So I ended up getting the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil. Wait, which one is this? It's the Freestyle Highlighter Duo and it's Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. So it's the one with the orange and the purple. I'll show you guys. I'm going to do a video with this stuff anyway, so don't worry about it guys you'll see and then i did get the foundation um the powder foundation i don't really know how that's gonna look on me i tested it out in the store and it was not really giving what i thought it was going to give what she did was she formulated these to match your foundation shade so whatever shade you are in the fenty foundation you'll most likely be that in the powder foundation for anyone who is interested in getting it but anyway so i will catch you guys once i make it back home i need to start getting ready if i'm gonna do anything tonight i need to at least get my makeup done beforehand anyway see y'all when i get home Okay, let me tell y'all about how I almost got kidnapped. Dang. Just that fast when I was on the phone with y'all. Okay, when I was on the phone with you, when I was like, I'm trying to find the zone number, I was yeah. like, oh, I don't see the zone number. Yeah. So I walked like back by my car and I, it was like a dude who was across the street. When I was walking this way, going this way, he was going this way. So he across the street, he just walking slow, but he like see me, like, you know, get out the car. I get out the car. And I'm walking this way. He's walking this way. He's like walking slow. So then I'm on the phone with y'all and I'm like, I don't see the zone number. I'm like, I'm trying to find the zone. So I start walking back towards my car. So he's on this side of the street and I'm on this side of the street. And so I start walking back towards the car, but like the, where the sign is so I can see. Yeah. He stopped. He looked. He looking everywhere. But then oh, he said, hell, like, no. he on the, oh, no side He's on the, the opposite side of the street from me. Oh, so oh, he looking, hell, so no. he look, he looking around. He's trying to see, like, is anybody, anybody around? Is anybody around? Nobody is around. There's literally not a, no one on the street. He just stopped. And where I'm at, like, I'm looking at the sign. Like, I'm going to look at the sign. He gets across in the street, walking fast. No, so I bitch. turn and I start walking real fast towards the door. I see the door. I heard him go in. So then when I look back by the door, the key to come in. when I look, no, it was open. It was open. Okay. It was open. So when I look back by the door, he stopped like in the middle of the street. Come in turn around. Way. Oh my God. Yo, I 
Midwest where Chicago has one of the best skylines. This isn't even the Chicago skyline, but they have one of the best skylines in downtown. Our downtown is the best, period. Period. Right. Let's have a shot. Oh, I need a thumbnail. Spicy, please, please, mommy. Wait, shots on it? <laughs> About to open up a bottle of champagne, have some mimosas. First day of the year. Let's see, Muff, do the honors. I don't want to do this for you. <laughs> don't give me any. I don't know what to add into. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Swiffer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I know that's right with these cute ass wine glasses. Mine still have paper at the bottom. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, and it dries really quick. What? This floor is dry already. Mm -hmm. It's not even wet. I know. I like that. Pull it up. Pull it up. Watch it all fall out. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's gonna be my thumbnail. Leave it there. 
I'm gonna screenshot that again. Bitch, get out the way. Ooh, that's so cute. So Welcome back to another day in the vlog. I just went ahead and made an appointment to get my nails done. I don't know if you guys knew this, but my birthday is next week. So I want to get my nails done and have everything done. Just so I don't have to worry about doing it during the week. As you guys know, I do work. So I'll be working this week and I need to get everything done. So I'm gonna get my hair braided on Friday and I just finished doing like a little bit of online shopping for my birthday. I'm actually about to get ready. I need to take a shower, fix my hair a little bit, maybe put on like a little bit of makeup. But my appointment is actually in like an hour. So, and it's going to take me like 30 minutes to get there. So I actually need to get ready like now. I'll bring y'all with me so y'all can see what i'm doing and how i'm getting my nails i don't really know how how i want to get them i'm so indecisive but my real nails i'm gonna get acrylic you guys because my real nails have been breaking i don't really know why and i feel like i'm so sad about it because i really 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 wanted to go without getting the acrylic on my nails i just don't like the way that my nails are super weak afterward so what i might do is just do this for my birthday and then be done with them for the rest of the year and so i'm trying to decide if i want to get them long if i want to get them shorter i don't really know i do know that i'm most likely going to get my toes white baby these toes look disgusting but i'm thinking that i might end up getting my toes white my nails i don't really know like do i want to do designs do i want to keep it cute and classy you guys so i'm done doing my makeup i'm about to hurry up and get ready leave out and then i'll see you guys when i get to the nail shop
come back. I made it home from the nail shop. I actually stopped at Target because I had to pick up some stuff. I stopped and got some more sponges. These are the Sonia Kashuk, Kashuk, Kashuk <laughs> sponges. These were, like a commercial. These were, no. <laughs> These were $7 for two in a pack. I think I tagged them in my last video, so look in the description box because they are there. Oh, I also got, A new luggage because I needed it. I just, I'm excited to be like, that's what I like to do with my nails being done. Like, and it's, I just love being like, no, I'm just kidding. Y'all, my daughter is on the other side of the camera looking at me like, girl, bye. Girl, bye. But yeah, so that's it. That's all for today's vlog or this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys had a really, really, really good blessed new year um, or beginning or start to your year. I hope you guys set the foundation for what this year is going to be like for you. I hope you guys let go of all the past hurt or anything from previous years, from previous relationships, any hurt or anything, any grudges or any anything, anything that you had, any hate that you had in your heart, I hope you let it go. Left it in 2020 because we don't need that in 2021, okay? Hate is heavy, put it down. We won't need it. I hope you guys are just enjoying the time off if you have it. We're entering into a new season and it's lit like that's it that's all so i hope you guys are doing well i hope everyone is staying safe staying blessed and i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog i'll see you guys on wednesday so don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel for more videos from me and i will catch you guys in the next one are you gonna say something no can you say what do i say at the end of my videos bye <laughs> stay with me stay with me Adiós. <laughs> Bye.